welcome to the next episode of the glass blueprint an ais podcast glass series today we will talk about fire safety and innovations i'm your host debanjana and today we are diving into a fascinating topic that blends safety with cutting edge technology fire resistant glass to break it down and help us understand the different types and how they work we have an expert in building materials mr tushar zope welcome tushar thank you debanjana uh, for having me it is great to be here and talk about a very important topic that is fire safety absolutely fire resistance glass is a game changer in building design both in terms of safety and aesthetics so let's start with a simple question what exactly is fire resistant glass fire resistant glass is a specialized product hmm. which withstand the very high temperature uh, for a specific period of a time we are ranging from 30 minute to the several minutes unlike the normal glass which shatter when it exposed to the fire fire resistance glass will remain as it is even though it exposed uh, to the high temperature and it will not allow flame gas and smoke to pass through interesting so it's basically the time till which the glass protects us from fire also it's just not about being tough but also about how it responds to heat how does fire resistant glass contribute to building safety especially in fire emergencies exactly the purpose of a fire resistance glass is to ensure that it will not allow the spreading of a flame and smoke uh, to the other area in the application like high rise building or the area where uh, people require to be evacuated in case of an fire event yes so uh, if you see the application of this particular glass uh, this glass is used into an uh, fire resistance door or it could be used into an evacuation area uh, where it will contain the fire for a specific period of a time so that uh, the fire will not spread to the other area that's incredibly important so not does only it helps to contain the fire but it also helps to protect people from smoke inhalation which is one of the leading causes of death from fire exactly fire resistant glass is commonly used into an uh, building to create the compartment mm-hmm. in the application areas like in commercial offices hospitals and colleges where uh, the fire resistance glass is used to create the compartment and that compartment are created by means of an partition windows and fire boards uh, so this compartment uh, is actually uh, not allowing the flame or the fire to pass to the another area thereby pre- allowing the people to evacuate uh, in a specific uh, period of a time and uh, provide the protection to the people yes i know there are different types of fire resistant glasses could you break those down for us yes there are multiple uh, type of fire resistant glass uh, but in india the intumescent interlayer and the uh, monolithic glass are the most popular glasses okay so let's dive into each one of them Let's first start with the intumescent glass. Intumescent interlayer glass is a combination of two or multiple layer of an glass which is having a special interlayer that is a intumescent. This intumescent interlayer uh, expand when it exposed to the high heat or high temperature and it create an barrier between the uh, fire side and non fire side and it restrict the flame smoke and gas to pass through it. Okay that's a very detailed explanation thank you. Now could you help us explain the monolithic glasses? monolithic glasses as term suggest uh, it is a single glass or an interrupted glass right uh, in india there are basically two uh, monolithic glass are being used one is a borosilicate glass and another is a ceramic glass and if you see the inherent feature of these particular glasses they have low coefficient of thermal expansion that means when it exposed to the fire uh, the rate at which it will expand is very low and this feature is allowing the, it to remain intact in the event of a fire It's super interesting. Now can you brief us about the different classifications of these fire resistant glasses? There are three classification of fire resistance glasses E, EW and EI. Uh, when we talk about the E category of a glass which uh, we stand for the integrity. That means this glass will not lose its properties or shape. It will remain intact in the event of an fire uh, and uh, however this glass will allow to uh, hit to pass through the glasses. So E is all about stopping the fire and smoke from moving through but not necessarily protecting against heat. Correct. The E category glass will only ensure you uh, passage of an uh, like it, it will only stop passage of a flame, smoke and gases. 
but heat will continue to pass and uh, this glass can be used into an area where the heat transmission is not that important. If I have to give an example, a fire resistant metal door mm -hmm. or an wooden door with a vision panel can be the right usage for this kind of a glass. Got it. So now let's move on to EW and how does that differ from E? If we talk about uh, EW category, uh, if, which means uh, radiant control. Uh, if you see the letters E, E stand for the integrity. So uh, EW glass will have all the features of a integrity glass, that is E category of a glass. Right. But apart from that, uh, it will also restrict the passage of an heat, which is about uh, 15 kilowatt per square meter. Any heat need to be lower than uh, 15 kilowatt per square meter when it exposed to the fire and it measure at a distance of 1 meter from the glass surface. Perfect. Now, could you elaborate on the EI classification and what does that mean? EI classification is a superior classification of the fire resistance glass. It stands for the insulation glass uh, and again, if we see the letters, E stand for the integrity, I stand for the insulation. Mm -hmm. So, this glass will have again all the feature of E category glass. In addition to that, it will not allow heat to pass through it. And how to measure it? Uh, we put normally the thermocouple to check how much is the heat is transferring. If the average temperature of the thermocouple put on the glass surface uh, on the non-exposed side is less than uh, 140 degrees Celsius and the maximum temperature is less than 180 degrees Celsius, it categorizes it as, as a EI category glass. Wow, that's a lot to take in, but also super helpful. So just to recap, E stands for integrity, EW stands for radiation control, and EI stands for complete insulation control. Correct. The architect or the fire consultant, when they are selecting the glass, they need to check the building codes, they need to check the bylaws and the fire resistance classification and the right kind of an application for this fire resistance glass. Yes. Fantastic. Thank you so much for breaking all that down for us, Tushar. You have really helped us in understanding these clarifications. And I know that our viewers are going to appreciate that. Thank you, Debanjana. It was a pleasure talking with you. That wraps up our today's episode. Thank you everyone for tuning in to today's episode. Uh, be sure to subscribe for more Glass Insights and we will see you next time. Thank you.